Published, 1855 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 3rd of April 2018. Updated, 356 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 4th of April 2018 as the 100 or so guests arrived for their Passover feast, a rumor swept the room that they were to be graced by the presence of a prominent politician. After around 30 minutes of singing traditional Jewish songs, and a few short speeches, the doors to the Anglican Church Hall opened. Amid loud apologies for being late, Jeremy Corbyn and his wife Laura joined the Seder, a Jewish ritual dinner held on the first or second night of Passover. The couple had been invited by the organizers, Judas, a far-left group founded by young Jews in 2005. Traditionally, Seder is a dinner of chicken soup followed by lamb for family and friends. Often, Jews who otherwise might be alone over Passover are invited. Amid loud apologies for being late, Jeremy Corbyn and his wife Laura joined the Seder, a Jewish ritual dinner held on the first or second night of Passover for more overtly political groups. The trend has been for a third celebration centered on political debate, thus the one hosted by Judas on Monday. Corbyn was given a standing ovation by the majority of those present when he arrived. Relaxed and smiling, the MP for the neighboring constituency of North Islington was carrying a bag of beetroots from his allotment, where he had been earlier in the day. One of Judas's founders has explained that the group had an explicitly non-Zionist stance, alongside satirizing the many absurdities of the British Jewish community and throwing excellent parties. On Monday, it served vegan and gluten-free food. The vegetarian labor leader had clearly done his homework to ensure he observed the correct protocol, bringing his home-grown beetroot. This suggests it was not an impromptu visit, as has been suggested. Alongside his wife, who imports fair trade coffee, Corbin took his place at a table in the hall at St. Peter's Church in De Beauvoir, a well-heeled enclave in Meg Hillier's Hackney South and Shoreditch constituency. The church has a long history of community involvement. Its website states it has a reputation for inclusiveness as well as being a peaceful place for prayer and reflection. Yet peaceful prayer and reflection seem to be the last things on the mind of a succession of speakers who went to the front of the hall to denounce the state of Israel. Corbin, pictured on Monday, was given a standing ovation by the majority of those present when he arrived at the event at a traditional Passover feast. There are readings from the Haggadah, a Jewish text which tells the story of the liberation of the Jews from slavery in Egypt. But the folk of Judah do things differently. Instead, there was a succession of short political speeches, often peppered with four-letter words, despite the presence of primary school-age children. There were repeated mentions of F asterisk 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 gang Tories, there were jeers and catcalls when one speaker referred to Jonathan Arkush, president of the Board of Deputies of British Jews, who last week led the protest outside Parliament against Corbyn's failure to tackle anti-Semitism in the Labour Party. Mentioned by one speaker of the moderate Jewish Labour MP West Reading, a critic of Corbyn, produced a sustained burst of jeers. Some eyewitnesses said they detected a smile on Corbyn's face. Whatever the case, having committed labor to challenge and campaign against anti-Semitism in all its forms, Corbyn could have taken the opportunity to make his views known. Indeed, a more astute political leader might have called for calmer debate, or even left the hall. But Corbyn, who once said he regarded Hamas and Hezbollah as friends and laid wreaths in honor of victims killed by Israel during an attack on the Palestine Liberation Organization's Tunisian HQ, stayed for around four hours. Meanwhile, unknown to Corbyn, a fellow guest emailed a friend, expressing surprise that the embattled labor leader was at an event organized by a group hostile to the Jewish establishment in Britain. Before long, Corbyn's presence was widely known in Westminster circles, in time for the journalist Alex Wickham, at the Guido Fox political gossip website, to arrange for someone to covertly record the rest of the proceedings. Worse was to follow. As the wine flowed, a woman speaker read from the Judas Order of Service, mocking the biblical story of Jews drowning in the Red Sea as they were chased by Egyptian soldiers. The labor leader, pictured, and his wife had been invited by the organizers, Judas, a far-left group founded by young Jews in 2005 she said, legend has it that when the Egyptians were being sucked down into the Red Sea, hallucinogenic angels wanted to chant a cover of Jeff Buckley's Hallelujah in Victory, a reference to the hit by the U.S. singer-songwriter who drowned, aged 30, while swimming fully clothed in a river, this peeved Lord. Lord rebuked, F asterisk 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 in angels. Those are my little b asterisk 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 s down there. I know they were doing bad s asterisk t but show some f asterisk asterisk in compassion, in a normal Seder, we'd fill our second bucket of wine only halfway up to show that it is sad to see any human suffering, even those a asterisk 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 wipes. 
This Seder, we fill two buckets per person because f asterisk 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 those fascists, as cheers filled the air Corbin and his wife carried on chatting and laughing with fellow guests. Next, the same woman pointed to the beetroot that Corbin had brought from his allotment and was being held aloft, everyone point at the beetroot, and shout f asterisk 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 capitalism, many in the hyped up hall duly shouted the words. It's not clear if Corbin joined the chant but he certainly smiled broadly again as laughter broke out. Without doubt though, the lifelong Republican will have been intrigued by a poem from a previous Seder. Attributed to A. Joffrey Cohen, and called, Prayer Against the State of Israel, it opens with the line, Please God smash the State of Israel. Smash it in the abundance of your love. Strengthen the hands of those who seek to liberate our holy land that is not actually ours at all, the poem contains the cry, and f asterisk 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 the queen, especially f asterisk 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 Prince Philip. Burn down parliament, full communism. Amen. Towards the end of the evening, Corbin toured the tables, making an effort to speak to as many people as he could and stayed late, posing for photos. And so ended his evening. Only someone with elephantine stubbornness, while engulfed in a crisis over anti-Semitism, would spend four hours on a bank holiday with a fringe group calling for Israel to be abolished and for our queen to be replaced by a communist state. That's Corbin.